Our synthetic cadaver, uh, they, it's proprietary in terms of what it's printed from, but it has the texture, the feel, the look, the sensation of actually real skeletal muscle on a cadaver. Ours is considered to be the musculoskeletal, and so it has a full skeletal system, so all the bones of the body are present, all the major features on those bones, as well as the majority of the muscles that you would find on a human are present as well. It is five foot six inches tall, weighs 165 pounds, so it feels just like a human. And so we're looking at utilizing this for half of each semester as we go through to learn the features, and then we can also go through, and as I like to tell my class, we do origin insertion action of the muscles. So we can see where the muscle begins, where the muscle ends, and then the action is the flexion of the joint, all of which we can do with the synthetic cadaver. So I enjoy teaching with the Sendaver. It's, an, it's the opportunity to get away from plastic models, but we actually get, will have the students come up in groups and we will work with the cadaver so we can hold our own extremities next to the arm. And as we hold our own extremities, we can visualize them where all of the muscles are going through. So when I talk about our actions in lecture, they can visualize where the tendons are passing through the hand to understand the movement of the fingers. So our cadaver is open to all of our anatomy students, which the majority of those are going into our doctoral physical therapy program, which their whole first semester is gross cadaver anatomy. So we expect to see our students increase their success within that program. All of our Bachelor of Science nursing students are gonna be hands-on with the cadaver, as well as all of our pre-professional students. So all of our MD, our DO, our dentistry students will all have the hands-on experience.